APC rejects by SR governorship election result, says over 84,000 votes, men for to receive were cancelled by INEC. And former President Olusegun Obasanjo says African countries must discard the liberal democracy practiced by most Western countries. I am Bola Oba, and this is Plus Politics. The All Progressive Congress has rejected the results of the Bayesa state governorship election, which produced Governor Duye Dewey of People's Democratic Party PDP as a candidate with the most valid votes during the, the poll. The Saturday 11th of November poll. The party revealed further that the next step of, was to challenge the result before the tribunal because the electioneering process in the state was characterized by rigging and manipulation by the electoral body and INEC. Joining us live is Honorable Ophoni Williams, former member by the State House of Assembly. Honorable Williams, how are you today? No, we thank God. So what is this we are hearing about your party and uh, the result of the last governorship elections in Bayesa? The November 11th election for governorship elections had come and gone, but there's a, it's a tragedy that had occurred in Bayesa State politically, a political tragedy. Political tragedy in the sense that uh, over 84,000 votes, APC, God, through the electorate, had been cancelled by Heineck. And the cancellation is uh, discriminatory. And it frowns at the electoral heart that is the ground norm for the elections. Why? Because uh, once resources are entered at the unit, and the presiding officer at the unit deem it fit for the elections for the results to be entered, so be it. And when it gets to the LJ coalition, it is collated. But unfortunately, and why it's a tragedy, is because at the point of collision at the local government level, results have been cancelled. INEC does not have the impetus or the power to do so. Because the ground norms in the case that once results are entered, it's only the judiciary. One any aggrieved party can go to court. And as to why he's aggrieved or, or, or she's aggrieved. And that is the ground norm. And unfortunately for us, when results have been entered, results are cancelled at the local government collection centers with an aberration on call for a sad phenomenon, a sad commentary to our democracy and electoral process. So it remains a tragedy for now. Biasas are mourning the outcome of the elections because Biasas had anticipated from darkness, from, from an absence of portable drinking water, from food insecurity. That's what the APC stands for, and that's what the APC would have done to the electorate. Honorable of yeah. Honorable I can hear you. To, to somebody like me, it may seem as though I, it may seem as though somebody like you is crying more than the bereaved. The candidate of your party in that election, uh, subsequent to the pronouncement of the victory of the governor, has visited him. Has he not? I'm afraid that the governor has done that. What is trending in the Shushu Mida? Is the time when Senator uh, Dorado lost his father, Chief Timipri Silva, was at his residence in his village to console him, to uh, extend felicitation of sympathy to him. And that's what is being brandished in the Shusha Mida. So you are basically. And I'm not crying more than a bereaved. I'm not crying more than a bereaved because I'm an APC member. The victory for APC is not that of Chief Timipri Silva, it's the victory for APC, and all of us are APC members. No, and let, let, I share let's in get, the, in let, the let's get this straight, uh, uh, Honorable Ofoni. Are you saying yes. that subsequent to that election and the pronouncement of the result of the election, are you saying that the pictures that we have seen of the candidate of your party visiting 
the winner that that is artificial intelligence generated pictures? Is that what you're saying? Not actually artificial generated. That occasion or that scene you see is at the point Senator Doedre lost his father and condolence was being paid to Senator Doedre by Chief Timothy Silva. That is the picture that is being After brandished. After the elections or before media. the elections? Before the elections, months before the elections. Months before the elections. So yes. uh, we really have to be very careful what we what we see and believe now. Yes. Okay, let's get back to uh, to the issue of the elections now. Now, your party has stated that it's going to appeal, uh, or is going to file a petition on the conduct of the election. I would ordinarily, or anybody would ordinarily have thought that you need to be preparing your case for the tribunal rather than this media, uh, this media uh, uh, ventilations. What do you think? Of course, uh, you are right. Uh, the party is on ground. The party is doing the needful. The party is preparing a case to go to the tribunal to adjudicate. That's why the, dis uh, the distribution was made out to them is unjust. Why I say the distribution was unjust because it's only APC votes that have been counseled in the third elections, November 11th, which is discriminatory. And that is why uh, APC, uh, APC is aggrieved and APC wants to be in the tribunal. And uh, as it stands now, they are collating the funds to go into the tribunal. And we are believing God that when we go to the tribunal, justice will be uphold. But also, the APC uh, seems to have a record of generating some forgy dodgy votes, especially in that particular local government. Is it, uh, is it Brass or what's the name of the local government now? Uh, and that's actually where your gubernatorial candidate uh, comes from, that you, you have a track record of generating some very fictitious uh, votes from that area. So if I next, if I next uh, officials did the right thing, are you saying they ought to just accommodate those uh, those uh, some those votes and just allow them to pass, and then you people want to go get to the court and settle it? Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm with you. Yeah, the floor is yours. Sorry, we had a glitch. You know, connection glitch, yes. and uh, thank God you're back. The floor is yours. Would you want to continue with the point we're making? Yes, of course. To put the record straight, you know, every political party has his own strong goals. Yes, it's no doubt that uh, one of the strongholds of the APC is the Eastern Central District of Bayasa State, which comprises all Boya, Nimbe, and Brass. And uh, we are expected to do better in that Central District. Despite the fact that uh, our candidate, Chief Mipurisla, is from that Central District too. Because we have strong hold of the APC in that house, and likely Southern Nigeria and part of Inagua. But uh, unfortunately, what had happened it's not necessarily because uh, we had fictitious vote, votes from that's the tribe district. The, the, the votes we had are valid votes from the electorate. It's so the electorate that voted massively for our party and our candidate. But unfortunately for us, uh, INEG, we decided to play the role of um, the, the policeman. The The hot motto had counseled the results that had already been entered at the units, which would, would goes contrary to the electoral act. And the electoral act is the grand norm for these elections in question. So one one now wondered why, what informed, on what premises that INEC or INEC coalition officers at the LG, LG Center, coalition center, now decided to cancel elections that had already been entered at the unit and at the, at the unit level. Because once results had entered, at the unit level, even the chairman of the commission, INEC, has no right to cancel the election because the presiding officer on ground 
is in a better position to explain and to know as to when and what will amount to cancellation of elections. Not somebody somewhere else, maybe at the local government LGA center, collection center, will now come and cancel results that have been duly accredited to a political party. Now, we had that problem in Nobia, we had a problem in Nembe, we had a problem in Santa Nijo. So it's astonishing as to why only APC is being discriminated against. But we are PDP fed very well, like in my local government, my local government area. Five communities, five communities out of 48 communities produce 56% of the votes accredited to PDP. What happened? It was accepted by INEC. They never saw that as a strong goal of the PDP. They never saw anything wrong with the results from that local government. So why would they do the, the contrary to APC in our stronghold? It's a question that the court need to find answers to when we actually arrive at the, the tribunal. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, the good thing is that you have a recourse to the law to seek for, for the dress. But uh, without wanting to sound uh, somewhat disrespectful, uh, the way you are articulating your uh, argument is speaking to uh, the aberration that we saw happen in Adamawa when a blatant case of, um, of gangsterism was affected and uh, your party your party was using the same argument that in so much as uh, that brazen act of gangsterism had been, had been conducted, the only place for redress would be the court. Uh, why do you, why is it that your party seems to be very confident in just wanting to, you know, go to the courts at all costs like that? Why? It is seemingly disturbing and it's putting the reputation of the judiciary. We had a guest yesterday who was lambasting the judiciary, believing that the APC now has turned the judiciary to even, uh, you know, uh, the, the candidate, the presidential candidate of the PDP, who just lost to, to the presidential candidate, went to Kano or was talking about the Kano election and was also giving the same Reasoning that is like the APC now is overly confident. Whenever they bounce anything to the courts, they will be happy rather than just let the system play itself clean and nice. Is that right? Hello, Honorable. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, uh, that is, yes, I'm with you. As a matter of fact, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, go ahead, sir. As, as a matter of fact, what is happening in Nigeria is that when the judiciary is on your side, or maybe you win an election, or you win a, a case in the court, the judiciary is perfectly good and okay. But if you lose that at the, at the, at the judiciary, I mean, uh, you start crying foul. That is the Nigerian factor, and that's what Nigerians are upon the judiciary to be. When the judiciary does not favor them, they lampless the judiciary, when the judiciary favors them, they clap for the judiciary. So if for we, we are civil, uh, civil citizens that are considered APC. So we want the thing to go through the granny mill completely. We don't want a situation where we will recourse to violence. That's why we are always uh, uh, prefer that the court should intervene. Unlike what INEC have just done, INEC is the prosecutor, INEC is the one who is arrested, INEC is the judge. It's absolutely wrong. There is absolute separation of powers. And our next function is to conduct elections and announce results. And if there's any issue, issues from the any said elections, it is for us to go, the aggrieved parties to go to court. That is the most symbolized conduct. And that's what APC is doing. And not necessarily that APC is glad to go to tribunal. It's only when we are aggrieved that we we'll go to court. If PDP is not aggrieved, PDP will not go to court. If PDP is equally aggrieved, PDP will equally go to court. So there's no need for people to come up with a uh, aberration that uh, APC is uh, glad to go to court and we will not suggest that go to court after the elections. No. We are saying go to court because that is procedural and that is the, a civilized way of conducting our activities and conducting oneself. And that's what APC embraces. Uh, but but let's, let's get a bit more forensic now. Just getting a bit more forensic. Uh, would you not 
think that one, your party are presenting um, an ancient marina, quote unquote, uh, the best phraseology and the best metaphor I can use. Your party presenting an ancient marina for that election, number one. Number two, uh, the legal or technical jurisprudential uh, uh, issue that he had prior to the elections, you don't think that all those factors too may have contributed to the unfortunate result that your party got uh, notwithstanding all these uh, claims of uh, the 84,000 uh, invalidated votes? Uh, I, it gladdens me to take notes and to tell the whole world that uh, what transpired at that before the election support we are now brought back to the ballot was a political psychological warfare launched by PDP to a large extent. And that is why when that judgment came, PDP were jubilating. And when the judgment was upturned, the judiciary became a bad boy. So that kind of scenario and that kind of parties and that kind of notion, that kind of uh, belief of Nigeria are uh, uncalled for and it's saddening. And that kind of decision does not give the judiciary the appropriate uh, consign to do what is just. It's intimidatory to the judiciary. When a party lost, the party will embarrass the, the judiciary. When they win, they clap for the judiciary. That is not what's supposed to be. When the arbiters are not given judgment, we should abide by the judgment. And you see, the issue of who you present an issue minor does not even exist. As far as I'm concerned, because, uh, you know, an election is precipitated based on uh, the performance of any person, that that's why it needs to be reelected. And as I earlier mentioned before, in the past, you see, Bayasa State is at war with darkness. There's absence of a portable drinking water, a pine of a portable drinking water is absent. There's food insecurity. And let me tell you for an instance now, particularly in my local government, when PDP was canvassing for vote, the only thing PDP can afford to tell people in my local government is that there is zoning, there is need for the need to complete its eight years without cogent reasons. They were only not the fact that there was zoning. And I asked myself, when it was a turn for the South South to produce the presidential candidate for PDP, they forgot that it was zoning. When the senatorial elections in my local government, in my senatorial district, particularly by SR West, came up, even when the, then, the current senator in Bayasa where I said it's good to complete the immediate past little uh, two years in office. Everybody clapped for him, and there was need for him to go and complete that tenor. There, after he had gone for another tenor, the forgotten zoning. So you see, the, the so you, you can now see that uh, the vote the, the, that is accredited to, uh, particularly my local accredited to PDP, is a political somersault. Because the votes are not precipitated on nothing. Because the votes ought not to be listed. They don't, they, they don't need to elicit that amount of vote from Sagoma Lugo Winner, particularly because there was nothing actually that is convincing that they need to get that kind of vote from Sagoma Lugo Winner, who had turned, turned around to become the colonel of Bayer State elections. But if you are it's using, unfortunate. If you are using because that, that is a political somersault. Uh, uh, honorable, Thank you. if you're using that reasoning, uh, an average Nigerian. A political watcher or an average Nigerian an enlightened mind will be wondering how come your party won the last presidential elections when in the last eight years uh, your party uh, seemed to have deepened poverty, seemed to have deepened, uh, increased, uh, increased the discomfitures of life. So one, one in your position must be very careful not to use that rationalization because or that reasoning because it could boomerang. Don't you think so? Uh, let, me, let me be clean. On this subject matter, there is uh, relative, there's relative hardship all over the world. Even in places like France, America, Canada, America, there's hike in food uh, price and many other items. Like now, there's why the government has Honorable. 
Uh, we must give it to him. It was uh, it was battling the question. Now we have removed our own subsidy. We have removed our own subsidy. Removing our own subsidy, the government is doing a bit to ensure that uh, we, we, there's light behind the tunnel. And the government is working around the clock to ensure that uh, the people are relieved of the hardship. But be that it may, it may be, back on in Bayasa State, the government itself has weaponized poverty. Like I, I told you previously, that the palliatives have been shared along party line. Even as I speak today, this afternoon, this afternoon today, that we are granting this interview, the palliatives are still being shared on party lines. The palliatives are taken to certain persons' uh, domain, and they are being shared in uh, small, small uh, vehicles, what they call this vehicle, uh, Ayad, Ayad, Ayana, that carry these uh, uh, products to people's houses. Bags of rice, like say 50 30 is taken to a woman's house. What manner of sharing, what manner of sharing palliative is that? That is what is happening in Bayasa State. And PDP, I stand to be corrected. Let them come and say what I'm saying is a lie or it's not true. Uh, we it's a very really, sad phenomenon we find we, ourselves. We, we really and that's why the people we are earnestly, that's why the people are earnestly, earnestly wanting APC to form the government of the day in Bayasa State. Oh. And we hopefully believe. That there's light beyond the tunnel at the end of the travel now. We really wish your party the very best at the at the tribunal uh, uh, and that you know and uh, uh, working the machinery of uh, of the electoral system to the to the Supreme Court because inevitably, as it is the fact now in all Nigerian elections. Uh, it is almost certain that this litigation, uh, if kick-started, would, uh, would end up at the Supreme Court. We wish you all the best. Honorable, it's been uh, a very engaging, very interesting having you, and best of luck. Thank you very much. We'll go on a short break now, and when we're back, we do the second segment of the show.